Hello, Nev here, and today on Man Can Cook, I'm talking crackers. Now, I don't mean that I've totally lost the plot. I'm going to be showing you today how to make a gluten-free alternative to crackers. These are my pumpkin seed crackers. For this recipe, you'll need one and a half cups of pepitas or pumpkin seeds, half a cup of flax seeds, two tablespoons of chia seeds, one teaspoon of salt, and one cup of water. To begin, combine all of the ingredients in a bowl. Stir all these together well. And leave this to sit aside for at least 20 to 30 minutes until all the water has absorbed into the seeds. And in the meantime, you can preheat your oven to 170 degrees Celsius. So once most of the water has been absorbed into the seeds, tip the mixture out onto a baking tray lined with baking paper and flatten it out so that it's just a few millimeters thick. And once you've flattened it out, just score it slightly into the size of the crackers that you want. This will just make it easier to break up once it's cooked. So this is going to be baked in the oven. It was preheated at 170 degrees Celsius for about an hour and we're going to check it after half an hour. After being in the oven for about half an hour, the crackers are starting to dry out. So take them out of the oven and flip them onto another piece of baking paper and cook for another half an hour. Flipping it over just helps it to dry out more evenly. And then this goes back into the oven for another half an hour. After another 30 minutes of cooking, take the crackers out of the oven and allow them to cool down. If you find that they're still a little bit soft in the middle, just leave them in the oven for another five minutes. Uh, once they're cool, you can just break them up. If they don't break along the score marks, it's not too much of a problem. They install the finished crackers in an airtight container and they last for a really long time. These pumpkin seed crackers are so full of nutrients and they're so much better for you than a traditional cracker. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please click like and I'd love you to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.